Let's talk about this entire valve train. This is all, all comp stuff. Let's take the turbo out of it because I know the turbo is going to kind of control everything. How high could you spin this stably and be comfortable with? We've turned this same valve train 10,200 RPMs. They don't quite make peak power up there, you know, yeah. right? It rolls the, cor the corner a little earlier than that, but um, they will run up there, right? They'll, they'll continue to accelerate and stuff like that, and the valve train will be completely stable at that RPM. And that's really impressive because looking at this, coming, you know, from a pushrod base, you know, anybody not familiar with dual overhead cam, they're going to look at those valve springs and be like, they're tiny. How are those at all, you know, what, what's the spring rate on those? Yeah, I mean, we have, say, 125 pounds of seat pressure on this thing and uh, 280 open, right? Um, so the rate's not too, too crazy. It's got, a, it's got a good amount of spring rate for what we're doing, yeah. right? But the valve mass is pretty light. Um, these are comp cam springs. We do have uh, their retainer on it. Um, obviously, their camshaft and uh, lobe profile, and it's, it provides a very stable valve train for us, right? There's not a lot of mass there to control, like, say, the LT uh, mm -hmm. engine. Um, so we're able to get away with a, a fairly lower spring rate than the other guys.